a regional regulatory body is to be established before the end of 2024 to oversee the operations of citizenship by investment programs in member countries of the OECS that signed the Memorandum of Agreement on CBI operations in the Eastern Caribbean, according to Dr. Terence Drew, Prime Minister of St. Kitts and Nevis. Dr. Drew was a guest on the 4th September program, Issues SKN, aired on Freedom 106.5 and hosted by E.K. Flanders. Prime Minister Drew indicated that the regional regulatory body is among several initiatives included in the MOA that was signed by all OECS member states that operate CBI programs. The other thing is that we are setting up a regulatory body. This is another highlight, a regulatory body. That regulatory body is going to be set up before the, year, the year's end. Mm -hmm. And they're going to regulate all of us, just like the central bank regulates, mm -hmm. just like you have different um, organs like ECHA when they deal with the, the whole issue of flights and planes and they regulate. Mm -hmm. The telecommunications, they regulate. Mm -hmm. This is a body that will also regulate the CBI program. Okay. So those are two critical aspects of it. And then the, the other one that would be a highlight as well is if you are denied in one country, you are denied in the whole region. The whole region. So if you are denied in Antigua, it does yeah. not make any sense you apply to anybody, anybody else. else. Okay. So for a long time, they have been trying to reach this MOA, um, reach this, you know, achieve this agreement. But I think... You know, even before the elections, I said this would be one of my priorities because I see where he was heading. He was heading to lose the program, E.K. He was heading to consider us a, a financial risk, an international security risk. It was a very serious and critical matter that could have undermined the integrity and the stature of the region. Again, the Prime Minister said that the restructuring of the CBI program for St. Kitts and Nevis means less revenue achieved from the program this year. Glenn Bart reporting for SK Newsline.